We're very pleased to be joined here at Wolverhampton Racecourse on Royal Canvary Oman at Race Day by Alan McKenzie, who's got uh, four rides on today's cars and three of them in the Royal Canvary Oman's uh, colours, and these are quite lucky colours for you. Oh yes, they've been absolutely brilliant. I'm, I'm very lucky to have been supported by the Royal Cavalry. Congratulations to Hannah Adams and Sheila Collington. Well done. He's, he's always been very professional at home. He's, he's, although he's been troubled with other things, he's been very straightforward. We're very pleased to be joined now by Derby winning jockey Martin Dwyer. He's got quite a few rides on today's card here at Wolverhampton on Sultan 8 of Oman race day. And Martin fresh from a victory on the Arabians in a group, uh, group race yesterday. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, we had a, a nice win at Newby yesterday. I uh, had a winner for James Owen, uh, yeah, and we're here again today, looking forward to it. We're very pleased now to be joined by UAE seven-time champion jockey Ty Gaucher here at Wolverhampton on Sultanate of Oman at race day. And uh, Ty, good to see you here. Obviously, you wouldn't be too familiar to Wolverhampton. Yeah, no, listen, um, it's, it's a lovely day's racing. It's good to be back to Wolverhampton. Um, I've had plenty of success here over the years on, on the thoroughbred. So looking forward to the, the day and all credit to um, Sultan of Oman for putting on a very good competitive race day. So the runners down at the start here for our fifth race, the RAS. Hal Hat Beach Novice Stakes. That's also the six Jamra Athbar going in. Hayley, many congratulations. First ever winner just takes through the race. Um, well, it's all a bit of a blur now. But um, you know, James told me to come out the stores and just let him go, let him run, let him enjoy himself. Because sometimes when you battle him a bit too much, he can just back off. Anthony, you're a renowned figure in the bloodstock world. We don't see Arabian racing too often, though. No, no. My, my son's been uh, working at James Owens for the last year. He had some point-to-point -point winners with James, and um, he's had a couple of rides in the Arab races. So I've taken a bit of a more of interest this year. Yeah, coming racing a bit more. Yeah, and in terms of jockey development, um, obviously you registered your son's ridden pony racing. This is another dimension of the Arabian racing for young up-and-coming jockeys to gain valuable experience. Yeah, no, it's good. I mean, a lot of the amateurs. Get, get rides in this uh, sphere and I think that's certainly holds me in good stead for any sort of racing really. Yeah, we'll bring Ben in, obviously you've had a couple of rides, you've ridden at Lingfield and indeed on, on the big day at, at Newbury, I'm sure that must have been a real thrill for you. Yeah, no, that was brilliant. No, it was really good that James gave me the opportunity to ride at Newbury. Um, I was very lucky. And obviously, we mentioned you'd had a few winners in the pony racing ranks. Obviously, you've had a point winner for James as well, and now riding the Arabians, it's the next step towards, hopefully, I presume you probably want to turn professional at some stage. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, I rode five winners pony racing. I actually rode two winners for James on Vivaldi Clunge, which was very good. Was very, he trained it lovely. I was very lucky. The Royal Cavalier is always uh, keen to support the Arabian horses in, uh, in the UK, and uh, we've been doing that for the past 10 years. And... Uh, I'm sure that my bosses are willing to continue again supporting the Arabian horses in the UK. Ryan, obviously you've been a BHA starter now for probably just about over a year, but you started actually with the Pyramid Arabians, that's how you gained a bit of experience. Yeah, I was fortunate enough to be sent uh, to uh, Kentucky through the International Federation of Horse Racing Academies um, scholarship. Uh, when the Northern Racing College were aware that I was wanting to train to be a starter, um, I had three months out there learning with some of the 
best starters and best thoroughbreds in the world and while I was out there the Arabian Racing Organisation were advertising for officials so I sent them an email and Mr Haynes took me on, trained me to do that. Uh, having done them for two years I was in a very good position to take on a job with the BHA when it was advertised. They're off, racing away, the extended mile in front of them, Falcon du Roche in the blue jacket with the white start, a little awkward leaving the stalls. Samoa coming under pressure as on the outside Al Bustan in the blue headgear draws alongside again. Back towards the home straight inside the final two furlongs. Carrie May circumnavigating the field. Clear by a couple of legs from Zane's Achilles as they race up towards the line and in the first time visor it's Carrie May who follows up the link field with success. Felicity you've been involved with the sponsorship of the best turned out awards in Arabian racing for the last few years? Absolutely, the last three years and it's a great association for us, it's um, a great chance to be involved with um, the team from the Arabian Racing Organisation and all obviously the participants um, here today, so yeah, it's, it's brilliant for us. Pleasure to have you here with us at uh, Wolverhampton, um, obviously this is a big day for the Royal County of Oman, thank you for your support, just explain how big a day this is to you. Yeah, to be honest, uh, my colleagues and me, we uh, enjoyed very much the day here. The competition was uh, very high and uh, we enjoyed the whole day. Uh, uh, to be honest, uh, very happy we got the second in uh, two races. Yeah.